another one of um, my favourite stores that you would have seen over the years and it has completely changed. Wow, okay, so they've moved the counter to the, oh no, it's all music and stuff at the front now, over here. Hmm. Crazy, counter's still on the left, junk's over the back. But yeah, they've definitely condensed it a little bit. Anyway, first off. Game Boy Player, the discs, very expensive, it's like 8,000 on one of them. Oh, original soundtracks, all three of them for Donkey Kong, that is crazy, that is absolutely crazy pricing. They're probably really rare, but yeah, that's kind of insane. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sort of skipping the games for a second. I'll have a look and see what's here. N64 controllers. Oh, that's the ASCII one. 2722 on the blue. 1650 on the yellow and 2200 on the blues. 1650 on Dreamcast controller. This thing's I've seen this somewhere else the other day. Didn't exactly know which one that was. Oh. oh. That is really, really cool. This is pretty cool, N64 fishing rod, 66 so, no. That's cool. House of the Dead 2 box with the gun. I don't know if this actually had the game come with it. It's definitely very, very tidy. Now we're looking at the consoles. PS3s, um, this one's 88 bucks, other one's 240, it'll be the original, and PS2 for 88 as well. Some Xbox 360s, one of the first times I've seen actually box consoles. A lot more Xbox than there's been previous trips. Uh, Super Famicom for 16.50, other ones that are more complete is about 40 bucks. Ooh, PC Engine, 150, and GameCube, 88. MSX, very cool, very cool. Laser active. Oh, that's unreal. That's pretty expensive though. You don't reckon? Oh, in the accessories, it's not a lot. I definitely think I've picked up the best thing so far. Um, 27 bucks or $30 for it. I reckon it's not too bad. There's nothing else here. Let's go find the other. Oh, hang on. Oh. Speakers, it's got the speakers as well. Oh my god, that thing is that like two grand though? Yep. Oh my god, how cool though! I'd buy it at home. Hey, I'd buy it at home now to go and check out the other sections. Got some switches, maybe go down the bottom. Nothing I'm personally after, but. PS4 controllers and aftermarket ones. Ooh, PSPs have got the um, pink one, 
It's really, really nice in person. Love that box. And really had hoped to get a, myself, um, a PS Vita. So I'm not gonna buy one yet. Um, I'd like to try and get one for around $100. Hopefully we can. Um, I have seen them before for that price. PlayStation Classic. The minis. I, I just can't get over how expensive Game Boy Advances are. I don't. I don't know what I've missed. <laughs> Because I used, they used to be like, you know, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars boxed. Oh, there's a teal over the back there. Hmm. And seventy-seven for the green, but the teal one could see how much that is, because if it's boxed for 66, I might get that. Um, the Game Boy Advance light, uh, and there's also the spicy orange, um, I've just spotted something else, the spicy orange uh, Game Boy player, but I've seen two sealed memory cards. The lemon yellow is the fluoro one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I definitely, will be trying to get that sealed. Okay, so I checked out the Game Boy Color. Unfortunately, it's um, faded kind of on the top, but it is 77. I don't know, I feel like I'll regret it at some point, not getting it. Oh, that is unreal to see one, but it's unboxed. See, some of the Game Boys are really, really um, rough. So the other one out of the box was pretty rough as well. So I wasn't sure. Um, but there's a top loader, Famicom. It's not a bad price, 130. I'd kind of expected that they may be that price recently. Uh, and the Tales of Symphonia GameCube. This uh, is very, very yellowed. Um, I don't know if it'll come out in the video, but sad to see it in that sort of condition. But there's a oh, Wonder Mega. Very unique stuff and the twin Famicom. But I'll probably look at that um, Famicom because I really would like to get one. But now, I'll go through all of the games quickly. See, they put a lot of these games, these used to just be on the shelf, they put them in um, the cabinets now. And the Pokemon games are now 120 dollars here. Super Game Boy that I picked up the other day. Um, this one is the transparent blue though. It's 44. So loads to choose from. So many Super Famicom games like all the way along here. And Donkey Kong still reasonably priced. Some pretty good games. Mainly between 13 and um, $20. 16, 27. Um, Batman Returns has always been fairly expensive. It's 55. But there are loads to choose from. And on the other side is the Famicom. I don't think there's any games this year for the Famicom that I wanted to pick up. They've got the discs, F1 race, Super Mario, like one with a little ginger cat on it, looks pretty cute. Don't know why one study, oh it's probably less complete, so there's $10 on, on that. Twin B, quite a few copies. Still can't believe I lost my copy of Legend of Zelda in a move. 
These things are so tiny. I must have put it in a safe spot. And I don't know remember where it is. Spotted. $5.50, copy of Tetris. On this side, they have PC and then some PS1 all the way down. In the cupboard, they've got Game & Watches, Donkey Kong um, 77 and 88. So, oh, a boxed pocket station, 33. These are so cute, they're all so cute, so cute. Another one spotted, Rockman X4, 27.50. Time to head to the junk. Now the junk used to be from here down. It's now obviously a lot smaller. And they've got sometimes um, junk but working um, stuff here, which is cheap. So they've got a twin Famicom, still expensive though. PSPs for anywhere, there's 2750, 38, 33. Um, some other handhelds, DS lights, DSIs. Game Boys, uh, Game Boy Pocket, um, but it's badly yellowed for 38.50. That's a shame. Okay, so this is in the junk section. It would be possibly untested. This is one of the um, old Nintendo consoles. So that is 55. We've got some other old consoles there, PS2, um, 2750 for a Famicom, one that's unboxed actually. TV game, 33. Ooh, Saturn Mouse. And console for 44 in here. That's a bit strange. Oh, just controllers. Had to have a look at that for a second. I was like, what, what ones are they? Are the sort of junk controllers. Oh, they've got the <laughs> camo red that I need. Ah. Time to go through the junk section. Have you found anything so far? Um, nothing too much. A few. Oh, GameCube controller. Oh. This sticks a little funny, but yeah, 1100 is pretty good. We'll clean up. We've got a Famicom in here for 550. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. We still have heaps and heaps of controllers. A dollar. It's probably not bad actually. Famicom. A bit yellowed on the back, but 220. two-tone N64 controller, which is for a Mario Kart. 550. Stick's actually not too bad on it as well. Just a bit dirty. <laughs> not gaming related, but these were all in the, what, the junk Laserdisc dollar, dollar bins, oh, all no, the Kate Bush nice. ones. Yeah, nice. Oh my gosh, that's unreal. Also in the junk bin are these Super Famicom units, they're 550 each. Oh, there's even a Wii U gamepad in here. Wow. 
and a Wii U console for 1100 and its gamepad. Charging stands, PS2 remote. Yeah, this um, family computer is very yellowed, but I'm sure it could be cleaned up. So 550, I keep coming back to it. In underneath here is an N64 for 550. You can almost guarantee this thing will work. Jumper packs in there as well. She's just a bit grimy. So far in the junk section, I'm going to grab the Sega Saturn mouse and an N64 setup. So that will be uh, probably $17 Australian for a power pack um, controller. I ch particularly chose the Mario one and the sticks good and the console. So 17 House of the Dead pack I'm going to definitely get. There's the spicy orange for 1100 and then Retro has just been going through the junk bins like every single game and he found this one in the junk section Mr. Mosquito so I can't even believe that was in the junk section um, more other random games oh Modern Warfare 3 um, oh I finally got Modern Warfare 2 for a dollar oh and the other one thank you see just got to be patient so they're all a dollar each for the, my collection. And what's this Princess Peach thing? Oh, Club Nintendo case. Oh wow, that's really cool. Getting later in the day and we are hitting another hard off. Ooh, Xbox 360, nice. Loads of games, super graphics, Pikachu controller. Some neat stuff. My eyes are darting around everywhere. I'm trying to look at everything. Pocket station boxed. Mm. Rockman X3 over the back. Oh, Rockman again. Mega Drive. I just, I cannot get over how expensive the Twin Famicom is. I'm still shocked. Um, they've got quite a lot of consoles over there. Ooh. Um, really nice red boxed PSP, but it's like 160 bucks. And it looks like that um, value pack, the black one is only 66, which is probably a pretty good price. That is really expensive for the Super Famicom one. Wow. What else do we have? One game that I was lucky enough to pick up relatively cheap years back. And the Pokemon games now are really expensive, everybody. This is the cheapest I've seen on this trip, which is um, $88. <gasps> Look at that! And that, there you go, Cam, got a good deal last time. I've seen this game like for half the price before, so the hard offs really don't have consistency in their pricing either, um, which is kind of odd. I don't know. Pokemon Yellow Cart, Japanese, eight. Mm, I don't know. Might be worth it. Oh my gosh, they've got Animal Crossing cards. Oh, how cool. 
I did not expect to see that. Um, little Famicom Game Boy Advance games, but I really like to keep them boxed. Tons of cartridges and boxed games. Along here is the Nintendo wall, obviously. Let's see what this is. I just paid $2.70 for another one. Let's see? 22 It is really nice condition, that one, though. I just got a feeling that the store has become really expensive. <laughs> Kirby's 1100. Road Rush, 3300. Pretty cool. Master System game here. It's the first time I've seen one of that style in a hard off. Interesting. What is that game? 880? I'm gonna look that one up for sure. Thunderstorm. The other one looks cool. PS1. I don't think there's anything there I can really see that I'd be after. To all the people that have asked me about Pepsi Man, I haven't even seen a sign for Pepsi Man. I feel like it's getting rarer and rarer. PS3? Vita and PS4, not a lot here. Only looking for one thing on this, which will be the, um, it's a limited pack or a special pack for Death Stranding, I think we're looking for. Phantom Pain, 1650 here. Now the consoles, they have the Uncharted one here. Oh, that box art. I think is unreal. It's so, so good. Look at it. I love that. 300. They also have some other PS4s that are the Final Fantasy one, white PS4, um, which we actually do want one, <laughs> but I'm not gonna buy that. I'll just stick, keep trying to find one in Australia. They've got the mauve color. Um, I don't know if you'd call it that. It is sort of like a metallic blue, but it's kind of a bit purpley. They've got a um, transparent for $44. Um, 110, 165 on one of those N64s. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, doesn't really make much sense. GameCube, 77. 
Standard N64, 44. It's probably not too bad, to be honest. Under $50. PS1. Ooh, they got the junior version of the Super Famicom here, but it doesn't have the matching controller with it. That's really cool. I feel like it was that this store that had this last time. It's the um, stand for the GameCube. It's really neat, but we could never ever get to take it home. Time Crisis 2, gun set, 88. Dreamcast controllers, pretty nice condition this one. Um, it is 1100. 22. That 1500 one that I picked up at a book off a little earlier today on Instagram was definitely a very, very good deal. Let's definitely go and check out content there because there's exclusive content on both, really, <laughs> um, or different content, should I say, on both. The memory card's cool. Did you see this PS2 memory card for Gran Turismo? How cool is that? It's white too, 550. Do you want it? It's pretty different. Nice. Yeah. Is there anything you've found so far? Got the Hori Mini oh, that is, one. that is cool. I yeah, love that color. One, yeah, yeah that's unique. Really cool. Yeah. Um, cheap multi tap. Hmm. That's good. We don't have no, one. No. Okay. So. Yep. Um, and it's just a cheap, cheap copy of Ground Zero's PS3. Okay. Awesome. Let's go hit the jump. All right. Junk section. There is a ton of stuff already. You can see it down here, but. On the end, they've got one of the special edition Xboxes for 24, 240. Um, they've got a ton of PS2s. I always look for the test one, of course. And they have this special edition Xbox, one of the green ones. And they've got a 3DO box for 55. Wow. Excellent. Excellent find. I need to get a basket. an orange one. I'll put that aside as well. Stick repair. 
All right. This one's, um, yeah, you can easily repair it. I love this little guitar, it's so cute. Um, not as much junk as I thought there was gonna be. On second look at it. Some controllers in here. Definitely got to detangle this and get it out. I'll be back.